I was a senior director at the time, and uh, they would come to me with pilots, and I did quite a few of them. And uh, Eileen Katz, who was uh, running comedy development, uh, was asked me to meet with John, and she said, you're going to love him. And I had shot his stand-up before, and I thought he was super funny. Uh, and he was on a show called You Wrote It, You Watch It that was on the air briefly. And um, it's funny because the cast of The State, I think, were on it. You Wrote It, You Watch It. So we ended up getting two shows out of one show. So John got his late night talk show. And I think originally he had pitched it. He and Dennis Leary had pitched it together. And then Dennis, I think, was off. I think he'd done The Ref or something. He was off doing grown-up acting. And uh, so John decided to do the talk show himself. And um, and at the same time, the, the, the state kids all got their own kind of sketch show on MTV. So that, that comedy development department had a lot of success because the state was a pretty big deal. And when you think about the comedians that are out there now, I mean, Ken Marino, Tom Lennon, Ben Grant, they're, they're all just incredibly talented and, and really successful. And, you know, John didn't do too bad either. So I met with John, and he talked to me about this late night talk show, and I said, I'm in. And uh, we did a pilot. We did two shows, I think, for the pilot. And then uh, we started shooting it at the MTV studios two days a week. We would put up the set the night before. <laughs> we'd shoot on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we'd shoot two shows. So there'd be four shows for the following week. It was crazy, and I would do things like I was getting ready to do the show with Nirvana in Seattle, and I would shoot two John Stewart shows on a Tuesday, get home at 10 o'clock at night, got on a plane at 5 o'clock in the morning, scouted in Seattle, flew back that night, got home at 2 o'clock in the morning, and went and did two more times. Yeah, it was kind of crazy, but so much fun, and the greatest thing in the world, and John became a very close friend of mine, and... Uh, I learned so much about comedy from him. And I was also lucky enough, you know, on a lot of these late night talk shows, somebody directs the show and other, somebody else directs the comedy pieces, and I did everything. So um, when we had a dark week, I was shooting a bunch of comedy pieces, single camera comedy pieces with him. Um, and John taught me so much about what's funny, what's not funny, what you should go for, what you shouldn't go for. I just feel like watching him alone, um, just watching him uh, craft a joke and craft humor. And I would be involved in the show from first thing in the morning till the end of the night. And I would sit in his dressing room to go over the show with him before he went out. And Steve Higgins and Dave Attell would sit and go over his monologue jokes. And I would watch John change a word or change craft something to make it better for his voice. Not that the joke wasn't funny before it, but to just watch him. Um, I just think I had a, a back, a, you know, a front seat to one of the greatest comic minds there is, you know, so uh, some of it I hope rubbed off. Um, but he, he was so tremendously talented and also an incredible work ethic. And, uh, you know, he doesn't settle for okay, you know, he only wants the best. And I've been really lucky. I've been surrounded by people like that for a lot of my career.